Yeah, let's talk a little about your upcoming Schiller Institute conference. Now, you had one on, on April 9th, if I'm not mistaken, um, on a new international security and development architecture. We had several of many important speakers amongst them. Antonov, uh, a Russian representative for the United Nations, if I'm not mistaken, was one of them. So what will be discussed in the upcoming um, May 7th Schiller Institute conference? Well, essentially, it will be a continuation of uh, the last one, because the, the, what we have initiated is this idea that you have to have an international security architecture, which includes the interest of every single nation, uh, which is why we had in the last conference, we had speakers from Russia, the United States, Europe, India, South Africa, Latin America, and you know, it's the idea that that if we as a humanity cannot come together and decide on principles which guarantee the survival of all of us, then you know we are no better than than some wild animals. Even so, wild animals are not as mean as some people sometimes behave. So this was a very productive conference, and we you know have this idea that you have to put the international security architecture on the basis of common development. So it's an international security and development architecture because you know once you have a, a, an agreement for the development of all nations, Africa, Latin America, Asia, the poorer parts of Europe and the United States, uh, then that common interest can be the basis for a common security architecture. So what the next conference is addressing mainly is young people, because, you know, if you put yourselves in the shoes of a young person, let's say in, in Germany or, you know, France, Italy, the United States, it's not like looking like a bright future. I mean, if you're looking at World War Three, you're looking at a collapsing economy, a collapsing financial system, world starvation, a pandemic which is not yet under control. So, you know, this is a conference which is supposed to, you know, form a partnership of young people from all over the world to fight for a better future, because the future, you know, belongs to the to the young people and they are not being asked right now, you know, is it really their interest that the world should go up in a thermonuclear uh, mushroom followed by a nuclear winter? So, you know, also young people should have a say what is their future. There are so exciting developments taking place. Uh, for example, we are on the verge of getting thermonuclear fusion energy. I mean, that, that is incredible because once we have commercial thermonuclear fusion, we have energy security and raw material security on the planet then you know also space travel will be much enhanced because you have a different fuel for for space travel the whole idea of cooperation in space moon villages eventually build a city on mars all of these are things which excite young people uh, because you know that is where humanity can go provided we get out of this present crisis so that that is what this conference will address, and I think we will have many young people from all five continents.